All right, guys, Statue Hunter 75 here. Hello, YouTube. Uh, have a huge Statue Hunters bags and boards episode 50, big 5 0, and this is a big one. Uh, huge CGC mail call in this episode, too. I'll get that right out of the way. I won't keep you in suspense on this one. Very excited about something that's in this. Actually, a couple of books that are in this. Um, big, big CGC mail call, and I waited a long time for this. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is also New Comic Book Day, Wednesday, March 13th. So, Big 5-0, Bags and Boards episode, CGC Mail Call, and New Comic Book Day all in one. Wowee. As you can see, CGC always packages their stuff good. Let me take everything out, and I'll show you everything. Once I get everything out... Get all the bubble wrap out. <laughs> CGC is always good for that bubble wrap. Get all the CGC paperwork out of the way too. So it comes all, I don't want to give away what it is, but they're all elastic and bubbled up. CGC is using these thick cases now which is awesome I mean, it takes up a lot of space but still it is cool they're nice and bulky these new cases it's like they're thick cases that they've always used and uh yeah i don't know where to start with this because we got some huge key issues here and uh i guess i'll start like this had these all pressed by CGC or the third party presser so let's get right into it all right here you have it I'll keep them off camera so we don't show them all at once but huge variant here let me take it out of the wrapper huge variant I was searching for this long and hard, and I think, I think, I can't remember, was it at the New York Comic Con that I picked it up? I got it for a really good price. I want to say it was like 40 bucks for this third claw variant. Loving these thick CGC box, box um, cases, slabs, whatever you want to call them. But this is the third claw variant. This is also the first appearance. It's Wolverine Origins number 10 from March of 07. Um, it's the Retailer Incentive Variant Edition. It's the first appearance of Dakin, Wolverine's son. And there's also an Omega Red and Jubilee appearance. And E-Music inserts included. So it's 100% complete. Daniel Waste Story, Steve Dillon Art, John, Joe Caseta cover. 9.6 white pages. Awesome variant with the bloody third claw for Dakin. So huge first appearance of Dakin. If they ever put him in a movie, this book is going to go through the roof. I mean, it already is like a $350 book at a 9.6. Too bad it wasn't a 9.8. I had it pressed. I think it probably would have been a 9.4 if I didn't get it pressed. It looks like they still didn't get one little... You know, it looks pretty damn good. So they pressed it and did what they do to it. And it came out 9.6, which I'm happy. Very happy with that. We got the next book. I'm always trying to get a Venom that's higher, like a 9.8 or a 9.6. And I always think I got the perfect Amazing Spider-Man 300. I had this pressed even, and it still came out just a 9.2. <laughs> this book is so hard. I read the grader's notes, I forget a little tick on the spine right there maybe that hurt it but in the back I don't know if the back was completely perfect because what makes this book so tough is the black back cover I mean still, that looks pretty damn good but they picked the shit out of it and made it a 9.2 they were picky uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 Marvel Comics it's um, from 1988 May of 88, and it's the origin and first full appearance of Venom, Eddie Brock. There's also a Thing appearance, and it's the last black costume. It's also a McFarlane cover. 
Um, there we go, right there. Dave Michelini, Michelini story, Todd McFarlane cover and art. And um, 9.2 white pages. Still good, but you know, the next Venom movie does even better. It'll go up, but I just wish it was like a 9.6 or a 9.8, which is what I was really hoping for. I thought this was going to finally get that for me. Oh well, still on the hunt for a 9.8 Venom. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Another book I thought would have got a better grade. It's actually, this, I think I might I have the same grade. So now I got two of these in the same exact grade. I'm not sure if my other one is White Pages. I don't know. But this one is another first appearance. One of my favorite Marvel characters, The Punisher. It's Amazing Spider-Man 129. Wish it got a better grade. Thought it would have got an 8 or an 8.5. It's in really sharp condition. I don't know, but it only got a 7-0. It was a little smudge there. I don't remember that, but whatever. Anyways, Jerry Conway story, Ross Andrew, Frank Giacola, and Dave Hunt art, Gil Kane and John Romita cover. It's Amazing Spider-Man number 129, Marvel Comics, February 1974. It's the first appearance of the Punisher, Frank Castle, and the Jackal. So, very cool. Glad to have more than one now. Good trade bait, too. It's a big book to have. Just wish it had gotten a higher grade. Still a good grade for this book, at least. But here we have the grand finale of the CGC mail call. Pleased with this book. Thought it was going to get lower. I had one of the experts look at it and he told me it was probably going to be like a 7. And luckily, perfect timing, we have Iron Man 55. First appearance of the big boy. You know who, the Mad Titan, Thanos. So it got white pages too. 8.0 white pages, which is huge for an older book from 73. Jim Stalin and Mike Frederick story. Jim Stalin and Mike Esposito art. Jim Stalin and Joe Sinat cover. Iron Man 55, Marvel Comics, February 1973. Books older than me. First appearance of Thanos, Mentor, Drax the Destroyer, Arthur Douglas, Star Fox, Kronos, and the Blood Brothers. A lot of first appearances in this bad boy, and it's a beautiful copy. Thought it would have even got maybe better, although... That expert that looked at it said it was probably going to get lower. So I'm happy with the 8. I will not complain for first appearance of Thanos at an 8.0. Very happy with that book. So that's huge. Da, sound like Paris Hilton. That's huge. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> very happy with my CGC mail call. So moving on, let's get a nice little shot of that bad boy. 8.0, yes, sir. Happy days of here again. Actually, let's get a couple of these. Happy days are here again. Okay. There's a nice little, maybe my dad helped me get that 8.0 on that. <laughs> anyway, moving on to New Comic Book Wednesday, March 13th. Uh, first, I went to... Uh, actually, I'm going out of order here, but I ended up at Counterplay Comics last. But So I picked up X-23, number 10, and this is actually, believe it or not, a key issue. Um, I think the first appearance of the X-Assassin, so this might actually be the origin, if I'm not mistaken, of the X-Assassin. Let's see here, X-23, number 10, is actually what makes this a key as I look it up. It is, it's, I was right, it's the origin of the X-Assassin, and solicitation, mystery behind the X-Assassin revealed. All right, then we also have X-23, number 10, the variant, the Lee Nyuk variant. Love his art. Very art germ or Greg Hornish. 
So glad to pick up that variant. That was the Super Spider Villains variant. Also picked up the um, Transformers number one. Um, just a cool cover. Um, you know, I grew up in the 80s. Love the Transformers. You know, this the key to this book is it's the origin of Cybertron. But really cool cover there with Megatron and Optimus Prime on the cover. So glad to have gotten one of those. This was a book they got late from last week, Ronin Island number one. So it was a good book to get. Picked up a copy. Um, Spider-Man Deadpool number 47. Now, they're saying there might be, uh, I guess there's a first appearance of the Manipulator in this. And he's a villain described as new and omnipotent. So, must be a pretty powerful villain, the manipulator. So, I figured that'd be a good key to pick up. This was just surely a cover buy because it's the beautiful art, art germ art. His women are just so realistic looking, sexy, beautiful. Love how Stanley Art Germ Lau draws women. There's this little trademark autograph, if we can get it in focus right there, the Art Germ signature. So, very happy to pick up that variant. Picked up Little Bird number one. Um, I think this is like, I thought it was a bloody variant, but it might just be a regular cover. Because I thought there was a different solicitation that showed the covers all white in the background. But anyway, Little Bird follows a young rebel fighter who battles against an oppressive American empire. And many places picked this as the key of the week for this week. So, it's an image number one, picked it up. Avengers No Road Home number five. Um, trying to remember if this was the variant cover or if it was the regular cover. I think it's the regular cover. It's a crossover featuring Conan, which is awesome. Uh, Jim's Comics on YouTube picked this as the key, his key of the week. So grab that. Definitely pick that one up. Goon number one was just an anniversary, like I think it's the 20th anniversary of yeah it is the 20th anniversary of the goon and this kicks off a new series so comics heating up picked that as their key of the week another beautiful archer and cover i think there was like three this week if i'm not mistaken i think there was a a wonder woman a cat this beautiful cat woman and a super super girl so we have i don't think there was other than this just being a beautiful um, art germ cover. I don't think there was any key to it. Um, this issue of uh, of Catwoman, but you know what? Look at it's just a variant cover by Art Germ, but look at this little silly trickster Stanley Art Germ Lau, you sneaker, you look at the abstract art here or the the creativity. It's actually if you look at it, it's a picture of Batman. And it's Catwoman really hanging upside down as she's probably lowering down from the ceiling. Because there's the painting of Batman right side up with the Stanley Archer Lau hidden signature there. So that's pretty cool. Liking this cover a lot. <clears throat> and so much that I bought a few copies of it. Also got the variant, variant of Avengers No Road Home number 5. Which is a strange variant because I don't know what the hell that thing is. Maybe I should know more about this comic. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell the Hulk is about to rip in half, whatever that thing is. So, I'm not really sure. Looks like a goat or a mama or something. Anyway, picked up Assassination number one. And this was just, you know, um, a first appearance, you know, a, a number one issue of an image comic. Um, sounded pretty cool, the solicitation. I think they... Uh, Trying to remember how they solicited it. Um, it's not showing up. So anyway, it's a number one issue. It's image. So figured I can't go wrong. Good pickup. You never know if it'll get some legs and go anywhere. So if it does, just in case, I got a copy of it. <clears throat> this week was the week of Valit. Uh, this was her... First appearance um, in regular Conan comics. Her first appearance is, is the uh, annual, <clears throat> which I got many comics, uh, many copies of that. 
But I just picked up her, her first appearance and I think also her origin um, or else this is her origin story. Yeah, this is the origin story and this is the first appearance in the Conan comic, the regular comic, 58 and 59. Eric... At Counterplay takes such good care of me, he gave me two for one. So he gave me these for five dollars a piece. So ten dollars for the both of them. And they're in great shape. So can't say enough good things about Eric. He takes such good care of me and always gives me a great deal. So speaking of Belit, he has her issue number one that came out this week. I think it's a five issue mini series. So um part one of an all new Belit novella. So that was the A cover, which was nice. And I also picked up the variant from Eric. I think this was the, the, the B or C cover. They did a, like four covers of this. So I was lucky enough to get at least two of them. Huh, want to talk beautiful art. Want to talk one of my favorite artists. Italian artist, um, Gabrielle Delato. Um, just a beautiful variant cover. Regular price variant cover. Batman Who Laughs, The Grim Knight One. I'm a big fan of guns and firearms, so that's just me. Um, that's what I like. I like to collect them as well. So uh, this is just a badass Punisher type cover, and uh, can't get enough of Del Otto's art. I'm Italian. He's an Italian illustrator. I love his work. Love his art. So I picked up two copies of that bad boy. I think I even got a few more at uh, at uh, my other stop of the day. So there we have it. Those are. The stops that I made a counterplay today. And then uh, before that, earlier in the day, I went to go see my friend Anthony over at... Paper Asylum in Beverly. And picked up that beautiful Supergirl art germ cover. There's his signature right there. Picked up the unbeatable squirrel, squirrel girl number 42. Um, although it says celebrating 50 issues, I don't know. Even though technically this is 42, it's complicated. <laughs> Whatever that means. Picked up a couple old ones from, um, you know, I've been away from work on bereavement. Um, so these were from last week. I picked up a couple of Spawn covers. I think that was a McFarlane after Matina and the Matina cover. So two beautiful Spawn covers for Spawn number 294. Another beautiful uh, Art Germ. There's Art Germ Signature. Another beautiful Art Germ Wonder Woman. I think that was from last week. Once I Land 2, I also think this was from last week's from Scout Comics. And then this week, picked up another one of those beautiful Catwoman, another beautiful Del Otto, and I picked up a Knights of the Golden Sun number four. Picked up another copy of Polite. Picked up from last week, uh, Astro Hustle number one. This was that variant that's going for uh, pretty good prices now, so pick that up. Got a copy of this week's The Goon Anniversary, the 20th Anniversary, number one. Um, a second printing of Die, number three. And I picked up... Anthony took care of me. He got some from the Kickstarter. Some White Widow variants. So this was the... It's basically based off of Spider-Man 1 from McFarlane, kind of an homage to it. Uh, this is uh, uh, variant number one, and that's the black and white web variant. Then you also have the black and silver, really cool. I love that. That's just really nice touch with the reflective glittery webbing. And this is the bagged edition variant. It's actually poly bagged inside the bag and board and the case. So that's a bagged edition variant from Kickstarter. And this was the gold glitter web which is also really nice and this is another bagged edition of white widow number one in perfect condition so if this book goes anywhere i'll definitely get those graded down the road if it ever does anything hopefully jamie tyndale keeps that series going good and going strong so i think he did the art on these as well so that's that for this week 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this issue of Bags and Boards number 50. Uh, big 50th issue. Went 20 minutes here on the video. If you stuck around the whole time, please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and what I brought to you. Um, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, I appreciate your subscription. If you hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell next to it. And that will let you know every time I post a new video, I try to bring you guys a lot of good content. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. Have a great rest of your week, guys. Good night.